All right, so we're in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. Um, I was coming to a place called Silver City. There was it was an old mining uh, facility, it had all kinds of cool buildings, but they're all gone. But it did have a cemetery for the mine, so it's right over here. I'm going to turn this around and show it to you, and I'll show you the area. Believe me, we're in the middle of nowhere. So I'll turn this around. You can see. All right, look at that. This is the area. And there's the cemetery right there. Absolutely not taken care of, which is a shame. Look at this. It's so quiet. So beautiful. Let's take a peek. Join us on our search for the most abandoned historic and haunted locations our country has to offer. So this is supposed to be the old cemetery for the mine. Gold Hill. Pay a visit. Holy crap. Well, since we're right here, we'll go this way. Things in bad shape. Some of the stones look like they're in really good shape though. So maybe somebody still comes and takes care of them. I don't know. <clears throat> like this one. Looks like it's in good shape. Charles W. Keith, born in London, Canada. February 2nd, 48, 1848, died 1894. Huh. Oh, I see a sheep on top of that one. That's not good. I think that means it's a child from what Jen says. Oh, four months old. That's awful. I don't know where the sheep's head went. Man, it's sad to see it in such disarray. I mean, that's just horrible. Oh, look at the little cars on this one. Eighteen seventy-eight. 189 sorry kind of figure it was a child with those little cars on them all right hopefully the wind isn't uh, making too much noise because it is uh, windy not windy just breezy I gotta say though, Reno is nothing like I thought it was gonna be. Well, the Reno area. I pictured Nevada to be total desert. 
and it's quite the con contrary. It's, it's, I mean, I'm surrounded by mountains. My hotel is surrounded by mountains. So, just goes to show I don't know nothing. <laughs> shape those. Oh. I think we got a little walkway over here. I feel more comfortable staying on that than walking through this stuff. wind died down over here. Strange. A lot of metal cans and stuff. I don't get it. Like they're all over the place. Holy crap. Look at this. Let's, let's pour this one. Man. Oh, somebody only made it three months. Got a nice gate, nice fenced in area, but you can't even get in there. That one looks in perfect shape. There's always one little, one little spot down below that's uh, kind of crappy. But age 38, native of Kentucky. Then you got someone died 14 months, two months, five days. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, this is cool. Well, these people died in the early 1900s. So a little bit more modern. That's cool, I like that. Like, like their open book. think that that piece was on top of there and then of course this one fell fell apart too so that's a shame and somebody might take care of this one kind of I don't know They all died. 1877. Oh wow. George and Cora both died the same day. What? They died the same day. One was six years, nine months. One was four years, six months. And they died the same day? Wow. Two years for Alice and 14 years for Diana. Wow, that sucks. Oh, get some toys here. I think we're going to fix that.
All right, so we picked up a few things. All right. Wow. I mean, look at that. That's terrible. I don't know if these people all died from mining. Obvi I mean, obviously the kids didn't, but maybe they were just mining families. Uh, I don't know. I didn't expect to see this. I was coming to see the town. Not the town, sorry. The uh, mining mills and stuff like that. And I saw this. Haven't seen any snakes so far, which is good. Oh, I have an opening. Let's go through here. You can see over there, it's kind of all way overgrown. Same in here, though. But see what I mean about the, the tin? The tin cans. The tin cans here. bunch of metal. I don't know why. I don't know what happened here, but... Oh, let's check this one out. This one looks pretty cool. In memory of John Rasner, another native of Kentucky. There must have been people here working you know, on the mine, doing mining. 1862, he died. 49 years old. Still kind of young to be passing away, but. Man, what a disaster. Oh, little lizard. See him on the stone? Good size one. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh, hello. You gonna say hi? Hi. You're on camera? Oh, yeah. I tell him he's on camera and he boogies. Did he go on this side? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's gonna go back and forth. No, he disappeared. little plot here is uh, kind of a mess. Oops. Walk much? What do we got here? I'm not going to get down to the bush down there. Thank you. Oh, get some pretty flowers over here. Ouch. Whatever that was stabbed me. Whatever plant that was. That looks like dinosaur poop. Small dinosaur. Oh, see another can. Crazy. Get off me. See the flowers here. Wow, 
What a disaster. Total. Oh, this one's interesting. A couple of wood ones. Homemade. Can't really read the dates, but. There's one down there. I don't want to get down there though. We'll go up here. Oh. Cans everywhere, like everywhere. This one looks new. <laughs> A tin can, of course. David Winthrop Toll, the Nevada Traveler. Huh, cool. More flowers. See if we can get down, see a couple of those. Look at these. I'm assuming, and I, I think I'm right, that these are also made out of wood. Yeah, look at these, cool. Ralph Gillespie. Born 1875, died maybe 1928, I think it says. Yeah, definitely they would though. That's pretty cool. Well, not sure there's a whole lot more to see. But I seen this and I said I gotta show it to you. All right, we're gonna head out of here. So head back up this way. I'm glad I stopped and looked at this. If not, if for nothing else, the view alone. The view is amazing. Goodbye, Gold Hill.
we'd like to take this time to thank all of you who support our channel. As always, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.